Hello. How's this going, Will? I'm good. How about you? Good, 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 good. It has not been so long since we've done one of these, so it's good to do another one. No, this one could be shorter. Getting because... our conversation wheels back on. And yeah, uh, yeah. We, we're just going to talk about uh, what's going on well, yeah, with a little game called the Anacrusis. So first, this in general, I think people have probably have noticed there's a lot more updates, a lot more frequent updates and a lot more interaction going on in the Discord about those updates and for feedback. So please, discord.gg slash Bombay, go over there. Um, you can meet up with people and play the game as well as um, talk to us and let us know. One of the cool features we released last time that I think people have finally kind of gotten to understand, even if you have WinGDK, um, if you are in our Discord, just post that you want to play and there's a way to do it where you click a little link it'll actually show your lobby and it'll show you waiting for people and when it gets full it'll show people it's full and yeah it's a it's a really nice easy way and it's you know if you post over there you're going to find a great number of people in the community who are just having fun when gdk is the microsoft store version of the yes. of the game Sorry. for windows users on game pass or who bought it from the xbox store if you don't if you aren't in the know with the lingo but yeah uh we've done a couple we've done pr pretty much an update a week for the last few weeks um we're now uh we've we've com i think we can safely say we've completed the move from server-based hosting to player to peer-to-peer -to -peer hosting uh everything Which, works again as we would expect and i think better in some cases than it did before now yeah we've actually added some features along the way but so we have peer we have total cross-platform matchmaking so before we had that, you could play with friends across platforms. Um, but now if you just hit, hey, find me a game for this episode, it's going to find somebody that doesn't care what platform they're on. You're going to be able to hook up and play. And you can still choose to have a private game, meaning you click private and it's just going to play by yourself. And you're going to you're going to have to invite friends in using the party code to get in. So you can have best of both worlds. Um, that totally works seamlessly. We tested it today. And within minutes of the update already, we're just flooded and we were... We we're trying to get the four of us in a game together and we didn't start a party. Instead, we were just goofing and trying to play episode four and kept having people join us on just ended up playing with some uh, new new friends. Yeah, we made it. We made a couple of new friends, which was which was fun. Um, so uh, wait, let's see. Wait, just yeah. just one point on that. So is if you've played it with us and, and you've gotten into a game and then the game ends and everybody goes their separate ways. So a whole bunch of work we're going to start doing to help with that, to really bring those community features forward where you can say, hey. What we'd really like to be able to do is say at the end of the game, say, hey, I don't want to be a Steam friend or a Xbox friend because actually I don't know what platform you're on or we may be on different platforms. I want to be a friend on this game and be able to see you again and play again. And so allow you to friend somebody kind of in the stray Bombay world in the world of the Anacrusis and play again. And make, so like all of that's work that's coming along. Make a list of known good Anacrusis players. Um the the let's see it's other stuff in the patch that came out on uh, last week is uh, Steam Workshop now it works on the Microsoft Store version. There's settings in the menu that if you don't want to see Steam Workshop stuff, you can. For now, at least the Xbox and Microsoft Store versions of the game don't let you select mods for yourself. But if you're in a game with somebody who has a mod on the Microsoft Store version, you'll see like their fedora or their uh you know giant huge foam finger or or whatever whatever uh, cosmetic mods they happen to choose are and to, and to be clear the goal is to get those mods across for everybody to be able to select them and choose them and add them into the game it's good it's good fun way to express yourself uh, you can check out the workshop now over on steam that's where all of this is going into but we'll be able to be spread that across and give you the ability to choose those things and everything there that said um, if you want access to make your own mods, um, making your own heads or making your own gear, uh, making your own charms, um, all of that, um, just head on over and sign up at the straybombay.gg slash, uh, excuse me, discord.gg slash straybombay uh, to our Discord. Um, and there you can sign up and actually just join and get access. Um, the beta tool, the tools are still in beta. So we have to give you a key for it because it's not on the Epic store itself. And that's where you'll have to go to get it. Um, it's a lot smaller now than it was. Uh, it's super fun. Uh, I actually taught myself Maya, uh, as a way to kind of test the workflow for it. And I am going to be today finishing my tutorial YouTube video on how to make uh, um, these things are really simple. I can do it. Trust me. If I can Ch do it. Chet's do been it. eating the dog food and making his own mods for the last week um, half, two weeks. And that said, if you prefer to actually get your instructions in a written way, if you go to wiki.straybombay.com, there's the wiki for our mod tools and you can learn more about them there. Yeah. So uh, let's see. In addition to that stuff, uh, we have a big week coming next week. We have another... Big 
update coming, which is going to add, uh, it's, it, look, it's an unbearable number of achievements, Chet. I'm just going to say it that way. Uh, there, there are a lot of achievements. There's Steam only for now, just because we're not, look, Microsoft has some rules about the way achievements work on their platform. We're doing them a little differently and we're going to test them out and see what people think. So Steam users will get those and we'd love to have feedback on those when they land next week. Um, and I just want to stress achievements. So, so puns are horrible things in this world that should never exist except in achievements. They're allowed in achievements and that is the one place they're allowed. And just, just love these are some of the best puns I've ever written in my life, as well as from the team as well. Um, these are some of the best achievement names. I'm going to put, I'm going to actually attribute the the one that you're most proud of to you in the description on Steam so that people will know it's your fault, just for the record. Um, does it have, does, does, it, does it have tails in it? Th that is one of their two that are especially egregious. So one of them I almost fell out of my chair on. So any, anyway, um, achievements will be coming next week in the patch. That should be early next week. We also have, uh, for the first time ever, we have some holiday cosmetic stuff. Uh, Jules has been cranking out uh, hats and scarves and winter accoutrement for our, our four heroes. Um, and in case you hadn't heard yet, there's a Steam sale this this week. You you all, I don't know why I keep saying next week. This is all this week for you all. It's next week for us because we're recording this last week for you, which is this week for, for we're, you now. We're recording it this week. We're, we're recording it this week, but for them, it's last week. And for us, it's next week when they're listening to it. Not the, gotcha. not last week, gotcha. which is this gotcha. now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, oh. And so while we'll, so we'll have a bunch of Christmas stuff made by us and as, as well as the community has already made some Christmas stuff that's in the workshop. Ooh. If you want to grab that stuff. Oh, I miss that. Um, and that's also, if you want to um, just throw out ideas for the workshop of that's people, someone suggested a top hat and I made a top hat for Lance. Um, we had a streamer that we've played with a couple of times who has the most beautiful Husky uh, named Atlas. That's where the Atlas charm comes from. That's her dog. Uh, so we made that for her. Uh, so if you are, especially if you're a streamer, I'll, I'll admit I'm going to pander to you. Uh, no, especially anybody, uh, just you know, shoot some suggestions or ideas my way for things you would like to see or to the just the modding community in general. And I'm sure they'll do it. But if you want to have a little something special for your stream as well, let me know. Um, this is what I've been doing. Uh, Maya's the hardest piece of software I've ever learned in my life, and I am too old to learn new things. But, but the fun of seeing a top hat or Lance in his uh, his mob hat, it's, it's pretty good. That that that's it. I mean, the the point is, it took us a while to get here, but the tools that we built to to let people put cosmetic stuff in, and we're going to add more categories of stuff right now. Right right now, categories are uh, characters, full body character replacements. Uh, head head cosmetics, gun charm cosmetics, and campaigns and holdout maps. Uh, we're gonna keep adding more uh more categories of mods. We've already talked about like letting people add perks to the game. Um, but other things like that. That stuff will be coming next year. Um, so so there's always gonna be more. But it's pretty straightforward. It's like surprisingly straightforward. I actually downloaded the toolkit the other night because I want to I want to take a stab at it over the break. And, and saying next year makes it sound like it's really far away, but literally it's two weeks away now. Well, I mean, yeah, we'll be. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Well, and so, you know, and if you haven't, if you haven't checked out the workshop, check out the workshop because there are actually additional episodes that you can play in there. Today. CJ, one of our modders, made the hardest holdout map ever. I dare anybody to make it through there. Um, and then there's also another uh, really fun campaign that's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Has a bunch of cool things in it. Uh, and you can play it right now. Um, you just download it in the workshop and play it. So make sure to do that. So um, so that's about it. High points. There's a lot of good stuff in the workshop. Uh, if you want to get access to the mod tools, go to the Discord and type exclamation point mod tools to get a link to the to the form to sign up. Yes. So, so one really important thing with the mods, uh, if you're on Steam, why you want to grab them is, so in Left 4 Dead when we did mods because of the engine problems. Oh, yeah. You only saw you only saw them. So you it was only client side and you only saw them. If you download a mod, it actually when the game starts, everybody else checks to see if they need to download mods and they will all see what you're wearing. So if you want to be wacky and funny and make a little something silly, everyone else can see it. I made a fish because there's a goldfish that dead eyes stare at you while you play as your gun charm. Made me laugh. Hey, uh 
but you can do whatever you want. You can make that and you can show that off to other people. So it isn't just like Left 4 Dead where only you get to see the mods. Everybody gets to see the mods. Unless, and that's what makes it special. Unless people opt out of seeing it in the settings, which they can do. Because they have no fun in their because life. They, they're devoid of fun. Yes. Um, valued customers, every, each and every one. Uh, say, don't, don't be Ralph Cranston, but that that's not right. You should make the fish a head is the next step. The fish is a gun charm. It's nice, but it's too subtle. A whole head fish. Now that... That is a that's some compelling content, right? I'd want to add physics to the tail. Oh, no jiggle bones, please, chat. Um, so yeah, there's that Steam sales next week. It starts on I think Thursday. They announced that uh, yesterday, the day before, or last week for you all. This week for us, I did I did it again. Um, if you haven't left a review on the game and you bought the game on Steam, leaving reviews not just for us but for your favorite indie games is among the kindest thing you can do uh it's it's hard to get promoted during sales it's hard to make your game visible and one of the best ways that games can have that happen is by getting lots of positive reviews a good ratio of positive to negative reviews so leave it leave a good review for games that you like yeah we are we are positive there so um just, yeah, just pile on it, it can just be a thumbs up and a hey i really like this game a lot it doesn't you don't have to write three thousand words it's not like or just so it's the greatest person ever yeah yeah that's that like that is if you wanted to lie that that would be fine um, it would make me feel better but uh that'll do it for us this time i guess if we don't talk to you all again before the holidays have a lovely holiday a winter break whatever you may celebrate festivus among us um and if you do pick up the game for the christmas sale or excuse me the winter sale or anything else um or just want to play uh ping me on the discord i'm always happy to play with people we play regularly and always happy to play and uh, yeah that'd be great yeah, but there there's always games going in the discord so uh have a lovely lovely winter holiday enjoy your solstice we will see you all next year 